when you're doing these breathing exercises, if you get lightheaded at all, stop. I don't want to see anybody just disappear out of the frame onto the ground or anything. I don't want none of that happening. So um, just to keep it really simple and kind of set this up, I don't want to be too formal about it, but when we're doing breathing stuff, you won't need your horns, guys. You can, you can set those down. Um, so I want you guys just to sit up straight and I don't mean like arch your back and be like as tall as you can, just be comfortable. The idea is just to have your head over your shoulders, um, over your butt, just sit just normal, nothing fancy, okay? Um, so what I wanna talk about is three different places for you to take air in. And one of them you might be surprised and I think everybody says no to the, to the third spot. But first, I want you guys just experiment with me. Um, take a breath and try and breathe and make your waist expand. So like into your stomach, don't move your chest, don't move your shoulders, nothing else. Just see if you can make just your waist expand. Just, you, are you guys feeling that at all? Can you feel it kind of moving? Okay, cool. Nods are good. All right. Appreciate it. Okay, cool. So that's the first spot. All right. The second place is going to be your chest. And don't forget that your lungs are not located on front of your body. They're right in, your, in the center of your body, which means not only your chest, but your back needs to expand. So now let's just, just take a couple breaths, try and just move your chest and your back to fill up that area. So for me, I, if, I, if I do that correctly, I can feel movement back here. Can you guys feel that at all? Yeah, maybe. Okay, big nods if yes, big shakes if no. Cool, thanks, appreciate it. All right, uh, and then the third spot I want you to breathe is your shoulders. I want your shoulders to move, but here's the trick. They gotta come back down and relax. So how many of you have been told not to raise your shoulders when you breathe? Yeah, pretty, pretty much all of us, okay? So just try that, take a breath and then keep your air in, but just drop your shoulders back down. And you can feel you got air in and you're relaxed. Okay, so consider that myth busted for now, all right? Okay, so we got these three places to breathe. Um, what, another thing that I really like to think about when I'm breathing is what's the, what's the goal here? Other than just, I'm sitting here talking to you and I'm obviously taking in air. That's happening. You guys are taking in air while you're sitting here listening to me trying to stay awake. We're just, that's passive breathing, okay? Um, when we do this active breathing, the goal is to get as much air in as fast as we can and stay as relaxed as possible. Because whenever we take in air and we're tense, that sound has, the, the sound that we make has no choice then but to be tense because we've tightened up. Now the air can't escape and be smooth and fluid, which is gonna be, it's gonna have a direct impact on our sound. All right, is that all making sense so far? Cool. All right. Big, those are like medium nods. Give me some big ones so I can see you guys all. All right. There we go. Yeah, I like it, Russell. Nice job. Okay. So um, to keep it real simple, I've got a few exercises for you guys. And the good thing about this is we, we're going to do them seated because you play your instruments in ensembles seated a lot. So it's good to be able to move around and be comfortable while you're seated and realize there, there's a lot of movement that you can have. Okay. So First thing we're gonna do is, is those three sections that we're trying to isolate, I want you guys to get better at isolating, just expanding those sections, all right? So first, this diaphragm. By the way, who here can control their diaphragm? You can't, I'm sorry, myth busted. You can't control your diaphragm. I'm, uh, yeah, I know, soul crushing, but it's okay. Um, we can sort of use the muscles around it, okay? And we can use the tension on the diaphragm whenever we're exhaling and stuff. But I go back. Um, so the first, remember that low breathing we did around our waistband, just expanding. I want you guys, let me, let me make sure I follow this. So breathe in as much air as you can into your lower stomach area. You're expanding your waist. And then when your chest begins to fill up, stop. And that's the most air you can get in, your, in the lower third, we'll call it. So everybody just try that a couple times. Just, and right when you feel your chest start to raise, stop. That's where we're at. Okay, does everyone kind of, if you got that gauged about how much air you can get in? Yeah? Okay, there we go, nice, good job. Good job, Elliot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is 
I want you to breathe in to that maximum amount. Hold it, but keep your body relaxed, your throat open. Just we're chilling with lots of air in the lower third here. And then we're going to let the air out, but I don't want you to use your throat to stop the air on the way out. Go ahead and like close your mouth a little bit and let your lips or your tongue keep the air at a smooth rate as it comes out. So, with, so I want you to breathe in and then it's kind of a, so yeah, there is tension on the way out, but I want it localized up here and having nothing to do with our airway. Does that make sense? Cool, so let's do this four times. Breathe in just to that lower third, right to your chest moves. Now stop and see if you can just be as relaxed as possible with that lower third full of air. And now we're gonna let it out smoothly. Okay, let's try it again. This time, see if you can get even more relaxed when we're sitting and waiting to exhale, okay? Breathe in. And then back out. And all of you should be hearing this kind of sound, all right? Just in watching, I mean, you're all little squares right now, but in looking, I'm not, I'm not feeling like we got breathing going on for everybody. So give it a try. You know, you might surprise yourself. Let's try it again, a couple more times. Just the lower third, don't move your chest. Here we go. Totally relaxed. Now air out. Good, all right, give me one more really good one. This time, go further with your waist expansion than you have been going. See if you can get a little bit more. Every little bit means that we're getting more air in. Okay, here we go. Just the lower third. Relax, we're totally relaxed, and now the air is out. Okay, good. Good stuff, all right, so that's our lower third. Now what we're gonna do is breathe in our lower third and add our chest. So we're gonna get two thirds full here. And as soon as your shoulders start to move at all, we're done. So it's the same thing. So let, just on your own, just try that for a second. Don't move your chest until your lower third's full. Just lower third. Now your chest can fill up and your back. No shoulder movement at all here. Now we're very, very relaxed and let the air out. The more that you focus on being as relaxed as possible, the better in this case. That's gonna give you a much bigger, warmer, richer sound, okay? Just breathing, even away from your instruments, okay? Let's do that a couple more times. Here we go. Lower third first. Now your chest and back. Good, no shoulder movements. Relax, relax, and let's let the air out. All right, is anybody noticing anything different happening here than when you, the way you normally breathe? Feel like you're getting a like, do you feel like maybe that's the most air that you've ever gotten without filling up? That's the way I feel about these exercises. So these are actually not exercises for brass players, wind players. They're exercises that I do that are uh, made for people that do free diving. So we're talking about people that go down with no oxygen, hundreds of feet, in the ocean and stay down there for minutes at a time. And uh, so people that use these exercises are able to expand their capacity. I think one guy has like his lungs are like 14 or 12 liters, which is insane. Personally, I think my lungs are like six and a half ish liters. And that's like, I don't know, average, I guess. But anyway, so the point of, we're kind of stretching right now. Okay, so let's do the, let's do the chest one one more time so you can really get that feel. So really expand the lower third now. Now expand your chest and back as much as you can, more than the last couple times. No shoulder movements though. Relaxed, relaxed, and air out. Okay, how many of you are feeling like tension in your throat and your shoulders right now? Yeah? Yeah, that's okay. We're, we're working on it. If you've never done this before, then yeah, of course you're going to have a challenge with this it's it is a challenging thing to try and fill up air because everyone wants to go and get as much air as they can but we need to stay just as relaxed as possible so you know don't get stiff move around feel a little bit okay all right now let's add the shoulders so this is where we have to really make sure that we drop our shoulders after we get the air in 
and you'll feel that your shoulders, the level they're at now, just everyone just kind of feel how low your shoulders are. They're, they're you know, everybody's comfortable. Everybody looks pretty comfy. That's good. So feel um, when you raise your shoulders to breathe, feel where they drop back down to. And I want someone to make an observation after we do this. Okay, here we go. Lower third first, totally relaxed waist expanding. Now your chest and back, no shoulders yet. It's totally relaxed. Now raise your shoulders and sip and fill up the rest of the way. And drop your shoulders, but stay relaxed. Now let the air out, open throat, use your mouth to constrict it. Okay, whose shoulders um, fell to a different place than they were? Yeah, did they fall like, what, what happened? You can like unmute and tell me. I mean, they just fell a little bit farther down. Further down? Okay. Good. Yeah. Who else has an observation? Thanks, Grant. Okay, let's try it again. I want to hear, I want to hear some more feedback from you guys. Okay, here we go. Lower third first. Now your chest and back still totally relaxed. Make sure you're back. All right, now raise your shoulders and fill it up. All right, good, let that air out nice and slowly. All right, what'd you guys notice? Dive in, don't be shy. I'm just gonna keep asking if people aren't talking. Um, This, I don't know, but pretty much, like the more air was filled up, the more it kept pushing my shoulders up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good observation. Who else? I felt like as I was filling up my chest, my shoulders wanted to rise up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, cool. Anybody else? Yeah, as my shoulders lifted, I felt my throat want to tense up more. Yeah, okay, good. No, these are all great observations. So, so every single person is different. We all know that. So we're all going to react differently, respond differently to these movements. And one of the most challenging things is actually learning how your body works when you breathe. And so I'm not going to turn this into a biology class or anything like that. I want to keep it real simple. But if this, if you're doing these breathing exercises for the first time, like ever, then you probably have no concept of how much air you can actually take in. So just, just for an experiment, take in as much air as you can. You can do this or not, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then I want you to see if you can let out exactly 30% of your air three times. Well, 33, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, so three equal um, exhalations. Just try it on your own. Just see if you if you can gauge that appropriately. Just okay. Were all three of those even? No. Yeah. I mean, the honest answer is probably no. Unless I mean, I don't know. Maybe somebody nailed it. But but imagine that. That's like that's just simply. Oh, did you nail it, Elliot? Yeah, you nailed it. Uh, sort of nailed it. Okay, cool. So, but that, yeah, exactly. That's about kind of discovering how much air you can put in and knowing how much air you have left. And that's really valuable whenever you're performing, right? Knowing how far, how much further can I go before my sound starts to deteriorate and before I ultimately run out of air. So that's just valuable information. So that's kind of what we're trying to gain here. Okay, cool. Now that we have our three areas to breathe, Let's go ahead and we're gonna do some stretching with that. You can stay seated for this. Um, so here we go. We're gonna do our lower level only, okay? Only the waist expansion. Make yourself a little bit of room. We're all gonna maybe disappear out of the frame, but that's okay. So we're gonna only breathe in with our waist, not our chest, not our shoulders. Then what I want you to do is, is um, use your core to keep the air in there. Wait, is that right? Yes. Okay, cool. And we're going to lean over to the left, the right, front, and back. And you're going to keep the air only in your lower third. And so what we're trying to do now is just stretch and try and get more air, more room for more air eventually. It's just like stretching. It's not going to be more air today, but you just kind of have to work on it. Okay, here we go. Let's do a couple of these. Just the lower third. Here we go. Breathe in. No chest. Okay, lean to the left. Whichever way, it doesn't matter. And then to the right, and go forward, 
This looks hilarious, by the way, and then go back. Okay, cool, good job. Okay, so I see some of you staying like very straight over like this. I want you to kind of collapse over, bend, um, bend a little bit, that's okay. All right, so we get a good stretch in there, everyone working their core out, good. Let's do, let's do that one again. Um, here we go, lower third only. No chest, we're relaxing, totally relaxed. Okay, here we go, stretch left or right, dealer's choice, doesn't matter. Bend over and keep that air in the lower third, forward and back. There you go, okay, good. And then relax, all right, nice. So now let's add the next layer, chest and back. I, I want you guys to really think about your back expanding too here, okay? That was like news to me. It's like, it's no surprise. Hey, your lungs aren't only on the front of your body. It's not, a, everybody knows that, but it's, it's not common to think about expanding your back when you breathe. But your lungs are back there too. They need to get some air in that part of the lungs. Okay, here we go. So two sections, lower third, relaxed, chest and back, totally relaxed. Here we go, bend. Stay nice and relaxed. In the air out. Okay, what did you notice about that? That was different from whenever we only did the lower third. Uh, for me, it, I don't really know how to describe it, but felt more like my body was pushing against my air than the fact when it was just the lower third. Yeah, absolutely. Who else? That's great, Jacob. Thank you. It felt a lot harder to get deeper into the stretch because it, I, I felt like I wanted to let some air out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's great, Zach. Anybody else? Yeah, I was able to bend over a lot more easier when it was just the lower third. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. Good. So you guys, it sounds like you're feeling the, the right sensation there. Okay. Um, so it makes sense then what we're doing is we're, we're expanding, you know, slowly, we're, we're kind of stretching our lungs a little bit. All right, if, if one of you has a parent that's like a doctor and tells me that's not possible, maybe that's true, I don't know. But for me, it definitely makes a difference, okay? So let's do that one again. And don't, don't let the air get forced out of your body. Keep it in there and keep this stretch happening. And if you can't go as far, who cares? That's fine, make the, make the effort though and get over there. All right, here we go. Lower third first. Chest and back. Relaxed. Here we go. Good, good. Man, this looks this looks hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to add the top layer. So now you're re really going to feel that resistance when you're trying to bend over. And that's okay because we don't hurt yourself. All right. Nobody's going to get injured in this Zoom breakout room right now. Okay. Here we go. Lower third first. Chest and back. Really try and get your back. Now raise your shoulders and fill it up and drop your shoulders. Now bend over as much as you can. Yeah, a lot harder to bend over, isn't it? I feel like your body is like definitely fighting. It's like much more rigid. Okay, let's do one more go of this and then I have um, kind of a, a frightening exercise. Okay, here we go. So uh, let's, let's see, yeah, you're, ooh, what's that? Okay, here we go. Lower third first. Chest and back, really, really good back. Shoulders. Totally relaxed, here we go. Okay, good. Now, just for grins, everyone just take a huge breath right now and just see how much air you can get in, just normal. 
Who feels like they are getting more air in now than they were at the beginning? Yeah. So what, what I'm looking for is just that you are noticing this sensation. It might be true that you're not getting any more air in, and that's okay you got to work on this to actually make improvement at it right i mean that makes sense but if you're feeling and noticing more air that's good that's progress it means that you're aware of the process and what's going on and although it is a complicated process we're trying to just keep it simple and just make you guys just aware of what's happening okay so um this so all of these exercises have had to do with bringing air in right getting as much air in as we can and it makes sense to me that if we can kind of expand the space that's going to have the air then i'm going to be able to fill that up even faster by staying relaxed and just pulling in as much air as i can um okay here we go so this one is is going to be a little bit interesting um so what i'll just tell you what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of sigh and as soon as you have to push air out don't let any more air out and then at that point, I want you to close your throat. Close your throat off totally so that no more air can get out. And what we're gonna do is just bend forward a little bit. And then I want you to try to inhale without opening your throat. So you're gonna be pulling against it. You're not gonna let any air in, but you're gonna try to. And it's gonna be like kind of a weird sensation if you've never done it before, because you're gonna be trying to breathe and you can't. But all you have to do to breathe though, is open your throat. So if you get like a little panicky, if this is the first time you've ever done something like this, it can be a little bit weird, you know. Um, I definitely I got a little panicked the first few times I did this. So let's try and just do it with two two pulls where we're not pulling any air in. Okay. So just a sigh. Don't force air out. Just sigh. <sighs> Close your throat. Lean forward and take two pulls of air. And then take your breath. Okay. So. When I say pulls of air, I mean, try to breathe for like a second or two at a time when you're starting for sure. And then relax for a second and breathe for a second or, or you know, try to breathe for a second. Let me, let's try that one more time. Is this making sense for you guys? It's kind of weird. I, has anyone ever done anything like this before? It's kind of out there, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. Sigh. Close your throat. Lean forward just a little bit. This is just to get a little pressure. Now, here we go. Try to breathe. And relax. Try to breathe. And relax. Now you can breathe. Okay, is that a little bit weird to do? Yeah, it's, it's like you, the alarm signals start going off like pretty quick when you're trying to breathe and you can't get any air, okay? Okay, next step of this is we're going to sigh. Then we're going to force air out until we don't have any more. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Lean forward, try to breathe, try to breathe two times. And try when I when I'm asking you to do this pull, make the pull like one second. No need to do any more. I just want you guys to feel this. Okay, here we go. Sigh. Now push the air out until there's no more. Close your throat, lean in and go. Okay. How did that go? A little bit more alarming, isn't it? For me, especially, this gets more alarming when you got no air left. Okay, here we go. One more time, just like that. See if you can try to make the time that you're pulling, trying to breathe, a little bit longer this time. So if you did like half a second or one second, make it just a little bit longer so you can get a little bit more out of this exercise. All right, here we go. Sigh. All the air out. Close your throat and let's try it. Here we go. And get a breath. All right, how'd that go? Anybody feeling like the alarm signals go off there while you're trying to breathe? Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you're not feeling that, then I want you to force more air out and really, really pull to try and breathe. Like, desperately try and just keep your throat closed and it won't let any air in okay um all right last step of this one is sigh force the air out then keep your throat open and lean forward so that that bending process forces the last bit of air out so there's zero air left then we're going to try the pulling against our throat all right 
So this, this is the one for me, the alarm bells really fly on this one. So give it a go, hang in there as long as you can, but don't, you know, please don't black out. I'm, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see it if any of you black out. So that's just how that's gonna happen. All right, here we go. Sigh. Now force air out, keep your throat open and bend over. All right, close your throat and try. And then come back up. Okay, that's a little bit more extreme, right? You guys feeling that? Okay, so right now we're, we're, we're working the muscles that are gonna pull air in. So let's try this one more time. Everybody give me a just like, you know, 20% more effort on this one. Um, get all of the air out and pull for a little bit longer. Give me like two seconds, two times, something like that. Okay, here we go. Sigh first. Exhale all the air, keep your throat open and bend over. Close your throat and try. Good, all right, cool. So you guys feel that? Is anybody not at all? Is anybody just totally lost? Like, why are we doing this? Why am I starving myself of oxygen for you? Okay, cool. So the point, the point of this is just to get more familiar with the breathing process and get these muscles that actually move the air stronger. And so that means our core too. Did anyone feel like their oblique muscles on the side of their core when we were bending over and stuff, like working a little bit more than maybe they're used to? So that's, those are all muscles that we use whenever we breathe. And so I'm not, I'm not going to assign you guys some sit-ups and planks and stuff like that. That's, you know, that's not my call, but you doing this type of exercise works exactly the muscles that we have to use whenever we're breathing. Makes sense. Okay. Who has questions? Bring it on. Don't be shy. I, I promise you, I will sit here and just wait for questions. How often should we practice this? Should we do it like maybe once a day or? Okay, yeah, good question. So it, that's really totally up to you. Um, I will say that the more regular you can be with it, even if you don't go all the way and do everything, then obviously the more you're going to get from it. And, but, but, I, but I still think even if you just do it occasionally, it's a really good reminder of like feeling this process out. So uh, what I'm going to do is type up all these exercises and send them over to Thomas and he'll, he'll get them out to you. And hopefully they make sense. Um, but if they don't, don't be shy. Ask, ask, because there's no way you're, you're not just going to magically know what I mean. Okay. Okay. Come on. More questions about breathing, whatever. How can you get better at controlling like your throat muscles and opening and closing them? Okay. So, um, the goal, the, I think the biggest impact on that is just maintaining is the most relaxed posture you can. Because whenever we're, whenever we are doing these exercises where I'm asking you to close your throat, is that what you're having trouble with? Or are you having trouble with just keeping things open? It's when we're, when we were doing the breathing at full capacity, it was keeping it open. And then when we were closing it, I wasn't sure if I was completely closing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think just getting more familiar with the closing part of it could be could be really helpful. Just trying. You're going to have to just experiment, you know, with this. But as far as the when you're actually breathing and keeping things open, even when you're all the way to the top, you might have to start out with when they, when you do breathe into your shoulders, not raising them all the way up. Because when I do this, I can feel the pressure on my throat.